Mobile infrastructure technology models are changing and so is the supply landscape. I'm talking today to Durga Malady, Senior VP and GM of 4G 5G at Qualcomm about a new development in its Qualcomm RAN platforms. So Durga, what can you tell us about the new platforms? So uh, as we take a look at 5G networks and 5G as a technology, uh, that is uh, transforming the industry and enabling new industries as 5G permeates into all sorts of new verticals. Uh, we see the importance of networks uh, becoming far more flexible and scalable as mobile network operators transition into a much more virtualized and interoperable network. And as a part of uh, uh, this transition and to enable the transition, Qualcomm, uh, today, we are announcing the uh, expansion of our portfolio of cellular infra infrastructure products into three new 5G radio access network RAN platform offerings. This includes uh, the uh, radio unit, the QRU, Qualcomm radio unit, uh, the distributed unit, the Qualcomm DU or QDU, and uh, the Qualcomm distributed radio unit. These are three different platform offerings. They are purposely designed to power a new generation of uh, virtualized and interoperable cellular infrastructure. And this expanded portfolio is really designed to allow both uh, uh, established and emerging uh, network vendors to accelerate this uh, transition and commercialization of a virtualized RAN equipment and features that overall address the operator's demands for a much more open and virtualized uh, uh, cellular infrastructure uh, marketplace. Uh, we expect the adoption of this set of platforms to be something that will contribute to be a, to a far more uh, a vibrant marketplace and a more resilient supply chain in general. Uh, this, these product lines are intended for both uh, uh, incumbent uh, infrastructure vendors who can complement their existing solution portfolio, in addition to uh, new players in the market as these uh, networks transition into not just in the public domain, but also going into 5G private networks. The platforms are quite unique uh, in the sense that uh, they provide a horizontal solution. Uh, they actually provide the uh, backbone for the high performance, uh, high throughput, low latency uh, modem RF solutions upon which a uh, software stack and services can be offered, uh, enabling mobile operators to go into uh, all sorts of different networks and provide uh, uh, extremely competitive solutions as 5G enables new kinds of business models in that area. Okay, excellent. Well, this sounds like it's playing right into this emerging and very hot area of disaggregated mobile network infrastructure. So do you see these products being taken up by uh, system vendors who will develop their products to, to sell to market, but also directly maybe to even enterprises who might want to, to construct and build a, a private or a, a local area wireless network? These product lines are intended for all sorts of private network, or all sorts of 5G networks spanning both public and private networks. In that sense, uh, uh, the products actually enable other partners to build on top of this, providing software on top of this. And then in the end, uh, system integrators put together this disaggregated solution, in some sense, re-aggregate it all back together, integrate the solution, and then enable these networks in both public and private network domain. So in that sense, uh, the adoption of these products actually go into OEMs and system integrators in general, who eventually, of course, uh, 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 provide uh, these solutions to mobile operators. Okay, excellent. Well, this sounds like a, a fascinating development, and, and it is right in one of the hottest areas of the industry. So I look forward to seeing how this develops. Durga, thanks very much for talking to us today. Thank you.